welcome back. So as you just saw the demo demonstration and application of this foundation, it is by CoverGirl. It's called the Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Oil Free Foundation. I am in the shade 115. Now I just posted this haul where I got this yesterday, but I had had it already for about a week. So I have been Okay, I usually do first impressions on my channel, but instead this time I decided to go ahead and use this foundation for about a week so I could really get a feel for what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, um, different ways to apply it, and all that stuff. So let me know which ones you like better, if you like the first impressions, or if you like these more in-depth reviews after I've used the product for at least a week or so. So um, did I mention I'm in the shade 115 Buff Beige? And I also got the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer, and this one is in the color Fair. And on the, the box that it comes with, it says at the top right which concealer to get with which foundation. So there were tons of choices of uh, shades in this foundation, and I really just kind of held it to my skin and got the one that I thought was closest, and it worked great. So um, the... the uh, concealer actually runs a little light because this was not the lightest one. There was one lighter, um, but this one, I think there was one lighter, but this one is very, very, very light. So I'm going to start out talking about the actual foundation and what I thought of it. Let me tell you, it says one simple step for a flawless natural look that lasts all day. Um, it's oil free, won't clog pores. It's suitable for sensitive skin and it lasts all day. That's what they claim. So over the past week since I've been wearing it, I have been putting notes on my phone so I could tell y'all exactly what I thought about it. So um, the first thing that I noticed whenever I tried to use this or whenever I used this was it is very easy to blend. It is also very easy to build. So um, I applied it with a beauty blender. I applied it with the Real Tech Techniques Beauty Sponge. I applied it with my Sigma F80 and I applied it with my Real Techniques um, Expert Face Brush. And every single one of those tools actually applied the foundation pretty much the same. It, um, it just applied it really beautifully. It blends so, so well as you saw in the demonstration and it also builds so, so well. So at, in the demonstration you saw, I put on one layer and then I added another layer kind of in my T-zone area. And I do that a lot, especially with buildable foundations. So the one thing that I was kind I was worried about two things. One, it says it's made for sensitive skin, but I have a couple of friends who have reviewed or tried this product and it has broken them out. I have extremely sensitive skin. So I had this for like three days before I even got the guts to try it, but it had it did not break me out. So um, I don't know if my skin's just in really good shape right now, or for some reason this just works with my skin. But it definitely did not break me out. And then I was also I was also worried because it's more of a matte finish, and y'all know I have pretty dry skin. Right now, my skin is producing more oil than normal, um, but I was still kind of nervous that it would cling to my dry patches, and it doesn't. So I wanted to mention that. Um, also, because it is a more matte finish than most of the foundations that I use, I did add a couple of different primers. I tried a couple different primers. I used MAC Stroke Cream, like you saw in the demo. I used the Illamasqua Primer, the Hydravel, and then I used the um, Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. So three different days, three different primers. And I think my favorite is the is the uh, Illamasqua Hydravel. That's you know my favorite combo but all three of them worked pretty good I, I loved the look of the strobe cream with it so if you have um you know more of an illuminating primer that might work because it's a more matte finish and it kind of just gives you a natural skin finish um 
Now, I will say that I'm a full coverage girl usually, so um, I knew that this was going to be not as much coverage as I'm used to, but it's buildable. So you put on a layer and it is, I'm going to say it's sheer coverage, but with the second layer, it goes to, from light to medium coverage. It's like the first layer is sheer, the second layer is light to medium. Um, I did. I have never built it up to where it was a more full coverage just because I don't want to put three or four layers on my face or I would just buy a fuller coverage foundation. I will say though, even with two layers, um, my freckles came through and I had a little bit of redness that you could see. Um, but it, it's it's more of a natural finish. It it doesn't make your face look completely like you have on thick foundation. You know what I mean? So if you're looking for a full coverage, this probably isn't for you. But if you like something more natural, light to medium finish that's buildable, you should definitely try it out. Okay, so the foundation is regular priced $8.99. I got that at Walgreens and it was actually on sale for $6.99. I will say that I had to I went to one CVS and two Walgreens and I finally found it. So I had to go to three different stores but here in Texas we're kind of late on the game for everything. So um, let's move on to the concealer. Now the deal with this is every single review that I saw about this said that it is very sheer coverage and most people said that they would probably skip on this. So let me tell you a little bit about my skin in case you're new. I do not have really bad under eye circles, like like they're bad, they're um, bags under my eyes, but they're not like dark. You know what I mean? So I don't really necessarily need a, a full coverage concealer under my eyes, and I never use a correcting concealer like a salmon tone concealer that will hide the darkness because I don't really have any darkness. But I do have. Um, creasing under my eyes a lot and um, I always like to use a light concealer under my eyes just to brighten that area up and you know conceal the bags that I do have so um, this is definitely a lighter coverage concealer I do not think I, I tried to use it on my face like on my blemishes and it will it doesn't work for that like it's so sheer but under my eyes it really did brighten and highlight under there i also used it on the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow and i actually like it it reminds me of the nyx hd concealer it's the same consistency i feel like it's a little less coverage um but it's definitely something that i will not be returning and i will be using so i've used this both of these products every day since i've started using them you know what i mean i've used them consistently so the concealer is $5.99 and it's regularly $7.99. So for the price, I feel like it's worth it. Um, I will say that I have never had good luck when it comes to CoverGirl foundations, ever. And I've tried a few different ones. I really do like it. Um, is it my favorite foundation at the drugstore? No. But I do love it. It doesn't accentuate my pores. It doesn't accentuate my fine lines. Um, I'm so thankful that it didn't break me out because that's what I was number one worried about is like my skin having a reaction to it. Um, the color match is great. The finish is great. It is a lighter coverage than I like, but for the summer, um, that's a good thing. You know, um, it, it definitely feels very, very lightweight on the skin. So I do like that and um, I guess that kind of wraps up this review. So I definitely say give it a go. Um, if you like light to medium coverage foundations, this is a beautiful finish. Even Brad said, oh my gosh, your makeup looks really good. I forgot to mention a couple of people that I mentioned or that I've watched reviews on said that it lasted about six hours on them and I wore it three different days for over 10 hours. I did use a setting spray to set it, but it still lasted me 10 hours and it still looked good by the end of the day. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe my skin's just acting good finally, but, um, also I forgot to mention, I didn't buy the powder. Now they have a powder that is specifically for this line and I have heard that it runs dark. 
So keep that in mind when you're picking up powder if you want to get the powder. But as you all know, I usually don't set my face, my foundation, with a powder, with a colored powder. Sometimes I use a translucent powder or the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder or the Guerlain Meteorites. But um, I usually generally don't set it with a powder, so I didn't get a powder. You know what I mean? Because I just, I don't use it that much. However... In the past few weeks my skin's been super oily so um maybe i should start setting it with powder <laughs> but anyways that's it for this review i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments below if you like my first impressions more or if you liked this kind of review where i could really give you a lot of detail and if you've tried this foundation let me know how you like it i know it's crazy foundation is such a personal choice because all of our skin types are so 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 different if i had to compare this to a higher end foundation it would probably be um nars sheer matte foundation does i think that's probably what i would compare it to because it's it's a sheer coverage um, but you can build it and it's a more matte finish. So that's what I would compare it to. Although I have NARS Sheer Matte and um, I feel like NARS is really yellow toned. So this one that I got is more of a neutral tone. So that's my comparison. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. So, um, <sighs> bunch of blowers. Real first world tripod problems. Hey guys, I'm gonna check the email. Okay. Okay, wait for me. Okay, because okay. it hasn't. It, it usually doesn't come till four. It's only on late two thirty. Okay. So we'll check it in just a second. Got it. Bye. Yeah, you were in another video, weren't you? Mm -hmm. I love you, sweet boy. And all whole family, but these other ones. Yeah, they were. When did Bobby break? Brendan Brad this ain't your big boy voice. Brendan Bobby Bobby You like the Hulk? You like the Hulk? Oh it's good. Show me Russell. So I'm gonna I'm the golden hulk. Yeah. <sighs> Love you. Love you. I look like I'm naked.